Close quarters gunfights are chaotic and messy. And if you're a controller player like me, you know that in Cold War, your aim assist works against you when you're up close and personal with an enemy. But today I'm gonna to show you a way to instantly kill any enemy player in close quarters, and it's used by the professional Call of Duty players. Welcome back to Sable Hound, my name is Drew, and today I'm gonna to be covering the shot punch. I'm gonna show you how to do it and how to practice it so that's second nature when you get into those situations. Do the stuff if you like the video, but let's jump right in. The shot punch is exactly what it sounds like. One shot and one punch, or melee. And it's one of the fastest ways to kill an opponent with a gun if you're in close quarters. So let's break it down. A melee hit in core game mode steals a fair amount of damage, but it still leaves the enemy with about 10% health. Tis but a scratch! Which means that it would take two melee hits to kill an enemy. The problem with that is the second melee takes way too long to execute because of the recovery time from the first. And that's where the shot punch comes in. You're gonna hit the enemy with one bullet, or more if you want to, but only one is required. Then you're going to melee them, and that's it. Then you're dead, you're down, you're gone. <laughs> Now you could do it the other way around, so if you happen to melee them first, you can still shoot them with one bullet afterwards and it'll have the same effect, however not as quickly because of the recovery time from that first melee. The shot punch is also great when you're trying to flank or execute a stealthy play and you don't want to make your presence known, but you just came into contact with an enemy. If they don't see you, it's much quicker than an assassination and a lot quieter than a full-on gunfight. So now you know how to do it, but how do you remember to do it in the moment? Well that comes down to muscle memory, and it's hard to build muscle memory for something that doesn't happen as frequently. Well there's a great way to practice and it has helped make the shot punch second nature when I come face to face with an opponent. You're gonna go into a private match with some bots, on a small map preferably, then you're gonna turn on constant UAV so you're not running around looking for them, and literally just run around and shot punch all the bots. The bot difficulty doesn't have to be high, because you're just building that muscle memory, and you'll find that in your day-to-day -day play, it'll become a natural reflex to shot punch an enemy who's in your face. And that's it for this short upload. But before you go, be sure to stay tuned to the channel because I'm working on a new series on how to be a more aggressive player, and the shot punch is actually kind of a precursor to that. I was initially gonna make it part of my series about how to improve your game sense, which you can check out up here, but there's so many tips and tricks that I wanna share with you guys that it can't all fit into one video. With the first part of my aggressive play series all about how to win more gunfights using aggression. So definitely subscribe so you can follow along with that. But that's it for today's video. You know what to do. My name is Drew. This was Seba Hound. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Hey, I want to be famous.